All right, welcome to a video that I have not made in a long time. So this is about Microsoft Baseline Analyzer, probably one of the best tools um, for uh, Cyber Patriot. So I just have a VM open right now. Uh, I'm just in Windows, so open up your favorite web browser. If it's not Chrome, then it's not good. Search up Microsoft Baseline Analyzer. Baseline Analyzer. Um, select, do, do the 64, um, if you can, that is 64 bit, uh, actually for compatibility reasons, I'm going to do, uh, this one, uh, this is a 64 bit version of Windows that I'm currently running, Windows 7, um, but for, uh, Cyber Patriot, it's most likely going to be 32 just because there might be some people that don't have a 64-bit computer, and so they want to make sure that everybody, um, that compatibility is non-issue whatsoever. So go ahead and install it. This won't take very long. Cannot be installed on a 64-bit. All right, well, if you get that, then go ahead and install the other one. I swear I downloaded the right one. I guess I didn't. All right, well, download the one that is good for you. I guess you apparently can't install a 32-bit on a 64-bit computer, um, which normally you can for any other program, but I guess not for this one. That is actually very weird. Anyways, doesn't matter. Um, so a lot of things are going to be bad about this one, about this computer. Um, I, this is literally just a fresh install that I did and I'm updating it right now. So it won't, shouldn't find too many bad things. Um, most likely what it will find is I don't have a password for my admin account. Um, I don't have guest on, I don't have multiple admins. I don't have, oh, I do have a weak password, which is nothing because I don't have a password. Uh, it's going to tell me that a crap ton of uh, Windows updates are needed, like at least 200 probably. Go ahead, nobody reads license, stupid do don't care, do not care. So go ahead and install that, and then I'll be back once it is done. Alright, once it is done, go down here, actually probably... If you selected the option for the desktop, go and head and run that from the desktop. Uh, that's what I want to update. Right now, I'm installing about 200 updates, 170. So it's going to be really slow. So I'm sorry. Please bear with me. I put two cores on this and four gigs of RAM, so it shouldn't be that slow. But so when it comes up right here. Um, you can view existing security scans if you already scanned before, which is nice. You can scan multiple computers, which you do not have. Uh, don't do that, because that actually might be really bad. Please just don't do that at all. Just hit scan a computer. Uh, Doopa doo, security report, computer's name, blah, blah, blah. Just leave it. Don't touch, don't touch anything right here. Um, if you want, you can do that. You can get both of these. Um, those really aren't anything important. No need. Um, don't scan someone else's IP address. That's um, scanning and stuff. That's illegal if you don't own the computer. So don't be scanning other people's stuff. Um, so this is going to run. It's going to download. Uh, the first time might take five minutes maybe so feel free to do stuff in the back local security policies users firewalls uac control um just do whatever else you need and once this is done i'll be right back all right so my scan took about 10 minutes to do probably um that is typically not normal i usually get 30 down and five up my internet speed uh, but for some reason tonight, it was really, just really bad. Um, so this is what you're going to see. Um, 
for me, I have one big security uh, update. You can see what was scanned. Um, you can see what is scans right there, all the different things it checks for. For each one, result details, that's probably super important. So um, if I do Windows Update, that would come up under Windows Update. Um, 102 <laughs> security updates for service packs. There's way more than that. I'm installing 200 right about now. Um, some user accounts have simple or blank passwords. Uh, I don't have a password. Auto login is configured. Uh, yep, auto login is configured. Uh, I need a. Yep, never finished Windows update, so I need to restart that. My password is not expiring. Um, Windows update automatically. Uh, this one I've never seen other than that. That one's fine. Guest account. That one is something that you usually don't see unless you do a scan. So that's a good reason to do this. More than two admins on here. Windows firewall is good. Um, auditing. Remember, you'd want to do auditing under local security policies for both on uh, or for success and uh, failure. Because um, if someone's attacking you, you want to make sure that you get all those failures and not just when they actually change something because they change something and that could just be pff, totally be the end of you right there. No unnecessary services. There's two shares on your computer. Those are both admin shares, so I can't really do too much about that. Running Windows 7, okay. Usually not those will both come up with uh, nothing right there, and usually these are fine. So press OK, go back here, so, and then you can see this one. And if you have multiple ones that you've done, you can compare them. Or if someone, someone I knew um, did a scan, and then without even looking at it, he immediately pressed OK, just an actual reaction, so you can go back here. Um, so the point of this would just be see what some of the big things are. It's guaranteed to get you points, guaranteed to get you points. Take that to the bank and cash it right now, because I will assure you there will be some points on either auto login. There will definitely be something on security. Most likely there's definitely going to be something on either passwords or user accounts, or more than one admin, or guest, or anonymous use, or Windows firewall, firewall, or auditing, or any potential services. This is major big stuff that you can just boot this up, see what's wrong with the computer, and immediately start hitting those uh, those key points there for key points for points, key points for points. That sounds that sounds weird. Anyways. All right, thank you guys for watching. Um, definitely gonna do some more videos. Uh, hopefully you learned something. Uh, if you feel, feel free, leave a comment, message me. Um, I might get back to you if I see your comment, uh, but I'll get back to you if I see it, don't worry. So hopefully you guys learned something and uh, keep on defending the cyberspace.